Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel again and we are continuing on our monthly installments and catch-ups and roundups and stuff. <laughs> I'll have uh, the same kind of makeup and uh, outfit for the last next few videos and that's because I'm filming them all in one Sunday as it is when you work uh, during the week. Anyways, we are doing now the Shop My Stash for February. My last video was uh, the check-in for the Project Pan, Team Project Pan, that uh, I am doing. You will see there all of my base products. So those are the products that I'll be using um, continuously until I finish them and uh, that is what is for those categories. However, because I don't want to pan color makeup, I, I'm not interested in panning color makeup. I love color, I want them all. I don't wanna pan any of my blushes, highlighters, um, eyeshadows, no. Um, so what I'm doing instead is just shop my stash on those colorful items. Last month, I pulled out uh, quite a few uh, cheek products. Let's start from reviewing those and how uh, that went. Milani Luminoso, still convinced it's too light for me, but it's really, really pretty. I think when I put it on, I can barely see the colored bit, uh, but the highlight that it gives is really nice. So what I am gonna do is uh, uh, put it back, but when I want to use it, I'll use it on top of any similarly colored peach or orange blush. But um, this will gonna go uh, back. Then uh, also some glowy products. These are the two Pixie Glow Cakes. And um, initially I didn't really get along with these. I really wanted to try them and understand them a little bit better. Then this month I was using, you know, the highlight, trying to understand if I liked it. And it didn't, for highlight alone, it is a little bit powdery looking. So not my favorite. Their other uh, highlighter doers are just amazing in comparison. But um, what these are doing well is that full on glowy cheek type of look. So you can get from your bronzer blush and, uh, and highlight this very, very glowy situation. Using it like that, I really like it. And it's nice that you can have two different uh, shades, seeing if you are more uh, warm toned or cool toned. And here the highlighter is actually quite peachy and pretty. I have used it in one of my latest videos, I think in the get ready with me for the intro of my project pan, something like that. But um, yeah, these I actually started to uh, like more and more. But again, a product for when the weather is nicer and I can wear more glowy things or I feel like wearing my more glowy things. It's not like I can't right now. Nah. <laughs> so I'll put these away and put them back into my um, collection because I used them this month. They were fine. I learned to love them. They can stay. Something that will not stay though is this start. Um, blush wheel. I don't know how many times I've decluttered this by now, but every time my heart cries at letting go of all these beautiful blushes. But I have analysis paralysis or something and I never actually use it. So too much choice, too many blushes. Um, this is gonna go on my blog sale, um, which I'm running actually not on the blog, but on my Instagram right now and on different uh, uh, Facebook groups, but mainly on Instagram, you can find it in the highlights uh, together with all the other things that I decluttered and that I'm selling. Um, so this is gonna go, but it wasn't my maybe pal, so it's good to know that it works to work this way. And then the final cheek product was this e.l.f. blush palette and uh, I fell head over heels for this one again. Look at how beautiful these shades are. Aren't these gorgeous? This beautiful nude, a little bit of a more rosy one, uh, a red with a few flecks of, I don't know, golden glitter, actually. I never saw it on my face. And this is a nice, uh, warmy, warm, dark blush. I don't know. I like it. I like this very much. Um, I need to remember to use it, but I've liked this a lot. However, uh, this is gonna go back in my collection. I've used it and it can move on. For eyes, what I have pulled out last month were a bunch of new things I got with Black Friday or after Black Friday, let's say, as well as a oldie and a goodie. Let's start from that one, the ABH Prism palette. I used it um, 
yes and no not so much but i used it uh thrown amazing gorgeous shade and uh this gold here pyramid is one of the most beautiful gold uh eyeshadows with so much dimension so much glitter and metallic like in one um and this palette is definitely a prismatic palette it has so many different textures that are not obvious because if a uh, sphinx here is just metallics then this is glittery this has a green and black base but if you turn it it flips to a purple um purple glitter beautiful i have a look out on this on my instagram you can check that out uh, for sure so used it not a lot but um this will go back into my collection then I have been using the Moolak Different 2 palette and this is just too difficult. Uh, the colors are weird and that's also why I bought it because I like weird colors but there's so many that I don't use. So I've used a lot the teals. I've tried to use this gold topper but I have a hard time actually picking up enough color. This yellow is just weird and too satiny. Um, this looks red but it actually blends out pink good neutrals neon shade uh, and this vanity shade has proven to be so so beautiful it is so multi-chrome not multi-chrome duochrome flippy very very pretty um eyeshadow very shiny but it's a difficult palette to use so eh, um not super excited i will put it back because i did some looks i used the teal I like the teal, but I have so many teals. I don't know about this one. I'll eventually go and do a review of it once I decide to use it completely, every single shade, but I have a hard time wearing neons, people, in winter. I'm just not, not my thing. Then I had my Lethal Cosmetics um, eyeshadow singles in my shop, my stash. These are all gorgeous. I have a full review with eye looks on my blog. I'll link it down below, as well as you've seen uh, the swatches and the eye looks also on my Instagram. Um, yeah, I like them. I like them. They can go back because I'll be picking them up uh, as needed, but I've used them. I love them. I'm very happy of the purchase actually. And how gorgeous is this? Gorgeous. Then I remember I put together a uh, Makeup Geek mini palette with all my staples. So we have, you know, Cherry Cola and um, Bitten, all the dark ones, my beloved Beaches and Cream, Beaches and Cream, Mirage, also almost hit pan on that one. Anyways, um, I use this in together with uh, filling in for the other palettes and uh, and went fine actually and it was because I picked so many colorful palettes but I'll put these one back in the collection as well because we're gonna move on with all of it anyways and last month I also used a lot the we makeup eyeshadows because I reviewed them in my video you might have seen the video these will go back into my collection and you can check the video one to see what I thought about those. Now for the new new stuff. Let's start with cheeks again. I am going to um, choose to use my MAC blushes. If you've seen my latest haul, that was a few videos ago, um, I purchased two new MAC blushes. It's these two up here. Let me get this away so that maybe I don't blind you. Uh, it's Melba and Copper Tone and uh, here I also have Burnt Pepper and Cheeky Pollen I think it's called. Yeah, Cheek Pollen from a limited edition. And I also have two other uh, MAC blushes in a pan. This is Raisin and this is Oh My. I will be depotting these and putting them in the palette as well so that I can... Um, yeah, just use them all. I haven't used my MAC blushes much and they cost a fortune and I want to use them more. Plus the two new ones are super exciting. Uh, here I have various H&M and the Sephora one uh, that are also good. So I'm going to be using this palette for the next month when it comes to blushes. When it comes to the rest of the face, I am panning a contour um, powder from Kevin Aquan. So that is uh, sorted. For bronzer, I am going to pull out the Jouer um, bon Bronzer Duo in uh, medium to deep. And this is what it looks like. 
I can definitely use the lighter color these days without a problem. The more tan and a little bit shimmery one I think is better for me when it's uh, summer but this one fits me very well so I'm gonna pull this one out I haven't used it a lot since I had it so this is gonna be that and when it comes to highlighters I'm just gonna go with the flow depending on what type of eye look I do if it pulls colder or cooler or warmer I'll just pick my highlighter as uh, as we go I didn't have I didn't feel like I needed to do anything specifically then for eyeshadow, um, of course I'm gonna have the new things that I want to use and these include from Mulak Cosmetics the Shakti palette from their latest um, collection and this is what she looks like, she has, she, it has beautiful glitters, these two, um, these two right here, um, a few mattes, uh, satin and uh, shimmer. So. I'm gonna test this one more and use it more. Um, it has really, really good uh, eyeshadows. Plus you guys wanted to see a tutorial with this, so that will also be coming. And then uh, I am going to be testing out also their glitters and this is the Toxic palette. Um, and it contains a glitter base and three glitters. I am wearing the pink one on my eyes right now in this ridiculous eye look. But you know, it's Sunday, so I play with makeup on Sunday and when I film. So you end up with these type of looks. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm gonna use these more, especially the glitter base. I wanna understand if it uh, works well, how it works, and um, if I like it. I like that it's a pressed glitter base. Um, with it, It's like very waxy and hard um, to the touch, whereas usually glitter glues are like very um, uh, liquidy or creams or stuff like that. Then I of course want to be using my new Colourpop single shadows this month and this is the new palette that I showed you in that haul but as you can see you don't have a lot of neutrals <laughs> or mattes in here so what I'm actually gonna do is take the opportunity to use all of my Colourpop singles. Now I have a few. These are my four little booklets. I actually should label them plus they're quite grim and uh, like dirty on the outside because they're so lightly colored but this for example is the palette of my favorites um, which I love the color scheme of in general um, lots of beautiful beautiful shades I also have this one which is all of my more um, springy corally pinky shades I don't use these a lot but there are a few in there that uh, are definitely some good ones then I have these which is the rest of my neutrals and browns and you can see there's holes because I put the ones in my favorite palette and then I have uh, almost empty the black and the green um, but I got a bunch of new black and green in this one here which I don't know um, blue and green, not black and green. I don't know if I'm gonna divide the new ones to put into the old ones until I swatch them all, which you guys, I don't know when it's gonna happen. The weekends are short, social life is important, so I don't know when I'm gonna have time. And that it's like, at night, photos suck, especially glitters and duochromes, you can't really see the real effect until you're um, in the sun. So we'll see when I'll be able to do that. But anyways, um, Colourpop eyeshadows it is for this month. Where I'm gonna put them is a good question. But that is that. And uh, that is all for my shop, my stash this month, I believe. Because I am, yeah, panning things and picking only colorful things to uh, target. So I hope this short and sweet video was fun and interesting. At least you know what's coming, at least you know what I've been using and what my looks will look like. Um, as usual, I know a lot of you actually tell me it's fun to see uh, what makes up wake up I look every, I, ah, what makeup look I do every morning. So you find that in my stories, both uh, the shadows I use as well as the uh, makeup look and a few comments of mine if I have on the product. Um, I wish I would, could be able to talk more, but it's like usually before 8 o'clock and uh, my speech isn't the most eloquent, let's put it that way. I hope to see you and chat on my Instagram stories every day in the morning. And uh, for the rest, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so that you will see all of my next videos, which might come in the same makeup. I'm sorry, guys. This is for a challenge that I'm doing. 
I don't know if I like it, I probably don't. It looks a little bit drag queeny. Death of the Swan, whatever thing. Anyways, have a great one, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.